I've gotten in the habit of getting crazy medical treatments when I'm here that are uh, only available in Prospera. Show us your Tesla hand. Uh, this, I have an implant that will let me open my Tesla with my hand and also you'll be able to bump your phone and get my contact card. And this is as of when? Uh, last night. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the medical procedure, uh, speed of ease of scheduling and turnaround time here, I would say it's pretty efficiently done. Yeah. Definitely. What happens when you get a new Tesla? <laughs> so the, the way it works is that you read, th this is a passive device with an ID, and you add that ID to the access control list for the car. So that's not an issue. And can you spell that out for our viewers and listeners a little bit more? What about Prospera makes this the place to get Tesla key implants in your hand? Well, I mean, this is just what I did this time. Like two trips ago, I got gene therapy to make me stronger and faster. And last trip, I got my mouth bacteria replaced with genetically engineered mouth bacteria so that I'll never get cavities. So there's a lot of stuff going on here. But um, Prospera follows the Honduran constitution and treaties and criminal law. But they get to write basically all of their commercial law, which includes many things like medical regulations. And so companies have worked with Prospera to create um, there's kind of two main regulatory systems, one based around informed consent and the other based on uh, kind of a mini regulator. And uh, these companies are using the informed consent one. And so they're able to deliver these cutting edge medical treatments that you can't get anywhere else in the world. So I'm obviously not antagonistic to body modifications, right? Like you can tell by looking at me. But what happens when there's like a medical malpractice suit? Has that bridge been crossed? It seems like Prospera is beginning to develop a little bit of a reputation as a biohacking zone. So as I understand it, the way this works in international law is that there is something called criminal negligence. So I, I looked into this on cruise ships back in the day because I worked on seasteading. So if you, for example, have not been to any medical school or your procedure is totally different than what you say it is, then that's criminal negligence and you can be prosecuted kind of, that's, that's a different thing, that's criminal law, it's not like the medical regulations. But if you've been like accurate in the information you gave for informed consent, if the procedure is what it says it is and you are trained how you say you are, then I, I don't think you can be sued for malpractice. I was not expecting um, such pervasive and totally dope biohacking to be taking place here. Um, you know, I was uh, looking at some of the uh, sort of graffiti or, or messages from people who visited through, who passed through in the coffee shop slash medical lab, which apparently is a joint facility, um, about how like, you know, I'm a cyborg now, or I'm one step closer to being a cyborg. And on one hand, it gives me the heebie-jeebies, and I don't know if I'm personally ready to take the plunge. On the other hand, as a libertarian, I am extraordinarily grateful that that type of thing exists and that there are places where willing uh, you know, people who have full knowledge uh, of what's going to happen to them and the risks associated are able to consent and are able to decide, look, I'll be the guinea pig, let me do it. And that they're able to do so you know, with far less regulation and um, I, I just sort of think like, especially if there's one lesson that the COVID era taught me in the United States, it is that the FDA is an extraordinary force for bad, for evil in this world in many ways. Um, and watching medical advancement flourish in a place like this gives me a lot of hope. So that's one of my biggest takeaways. I, I can tell you when Prosper became most real for me at the beginning of November, when I sat down in, uh, in, in the medical clinic to fill out my informed consent the paperwork. The medical clinic slash coffee shop? No, this is a different okay. medical <laughs> clinic, the Garm clinic that does. It's got a bar instead of a coffee shop. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a coffee shop. <laughs> they, they do stem cells and, and all kinds of stuff. And when I sat down to fill out my, incent, my informed consent forms that said, like, this agreement is adjudicated under the laws of the Prospera Zeta, any disputes are arbitrated by the Prospera Arbitration Center, like you are under a different set of laws. So filling that out to get um, gene therapy, that was real. That is, I, I feel like, um, you know, whenever I have my next child, like the odds of me doing childbirth in a Zeta are like increasingly high, right? Like we'll have to host an entire reason event around that or something. Hey, thanks for watching that clip from our new show, Just Asking Questions. You can watch another clip here or the full episode here. New episodes drop every week, so subscribe to Reason TV's YouTube channel to get notified when that happens or to the Just Asking Questions podcast on Apple, Spotify, or any other podcatcher. See you next week.